All right, moving on, X-Files, Season 3, Episode 8, Oubliette. Oubliette. Um, all right, so, once again, we, uh, we're we way behind. We, were, we, are, we caught up. We did kind of. Kind of. We had, like, a couple episodes left, and then we watched a ton of them. Yeah, so, like, we had two episodes to go before the kids got home that we were going to try to review, and we didn't get to them. So now these are even, like, another week back. Yeah. So these next two, like this one and the next one, are going to be something that we watched, like, two weeks ago. So let's see how our memory fares. What's this creepy for photography? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, I do remember this one now. Um, so... I remember this now. Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me all about it. So, this episode is about a, um, I don't know how to, well, oh yeah, yeah, we're not, I, for some reason I was like, I have to say it without spoilers. This is the episode where the photographer's yeah. assistant yeah. is like, he sees a girl, like a young girl yeah. at uh, some school picture event and yeah. he ends up kidnapping her. Yeah. And one of his past victims who had escaped, uh, like, it starts to have the connection. She has a connection and she starts to like, what's the word? Like, um, it's not vicarious, but she starts to like exhibit the wounds that the current girl has. Yeah. Cause she's like connected and linked to her. She's so. like taking on her injuries for yes. her. It's yeah. almost like she's a martyr for her or something. It's, it's super interesting. Yeah. Um, it's almost like she got away with this new girl it's like she's protecting her, even though she doesn't want to. Yeah. Like, Mulder kind of has to talk her into it throughout the episode. But, like, it's almost like their fates are connected and she's taking the abuse for the girl because she can handle it. And the other girl, she's, like, trying to protect her from it, sort of. But it's not, like, her will. No, it's it's like she literally got away just so that she could be, like sacrificed yeah for this girl which sucks because ultimately in the end she does die yeah for her she does um which is like it's super tragic this girl gets abducted when she's a kid yeah she's with him for years for years a couple years i want to say six years it was a good chunk of time i, I like, thought yeah I think, I think it's like six years five years five years okay yeah and it's like she finally gets out and is is living this like broken life because she just can't get up from under. Yeah. And then, you know, it comes back to haunt her, and ultimately she just ends up sacri sacrificing herself for someone else. Like, what a shit life this kid, this this poor woman had. And she's really bitter, and like, <laughs> wouldn't you be? She says something too about because like she was, she did have a problem with drugs at some point, of course. Yeah. And so she was doing it because she was, like, on probation or whatever. And, yeah, it sucks. Of course, yeah, she's, like, very bitter and angry and just, like, doesn't want anything to do with any of it. Mm -hmm. Although I do think that, like, in the end, I do think she kind of has a bit of a, like, acceptance of her fate. Yeah. In terms of, like, at least this other girl. Like, he never touched her. Like, this other girl's still going to have problems, kind of, yeah. you know? I mean, like, she was abducted and, like, yeah. almost killed and all kinds of stuff. Although it wasn't for years. Like, that that no. that event will still have an impact on her, but not the same way, necessarily, that somebody who had been abused uh, for years, you know, how that affects them. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. This is, uh, I like this episode. I like that Mulder is very... Um, he has a connection to her, too, because he, like, like to both of the victims. Mm. Um, of, because yeah, of his sister. Samantha, yeah. yeah, he's definitely doing a little bit of projection, which Scully kind of calls him out on, which is kind of shitty, I feel like, of her to do. I mean, I get that she's trying to be like, don't get too personal with it or whatever, but I feel like, I don't know. A lot of nerve coming yeah, from her. Yeah, it's just like, come on, like, I don't know. I think it's unnecessary. But that's like her, that's her way of being the reasonable one, of course, right? Like Yeah. So the reasonable one with insanely huge shoulder pads. Always. There's like some really intense ones in yeah. this episode. Yeah. I was I had I wrote it down. 
She has some pretty big ones typically, but if I write it down, she looks like a linebacker. <laughs> like there is, she's walking in in the opening of this, and it's like half of. It's ridiculous how <laughs> yeah. big they are. I'm like, come on, who is her? Like, who's dressing her in yeah. this? Yeah, this is what working women in the offices would be wearing, though. Yeah. So. And then uh, the girl uh, that that we that we get here. Um, is Kaylee from Firefly. Oh, yeah. Um, so that was cool to see. And, yeah, as I said, you know, she's connected to the victim. She's real angry about it. She doesn't believe in any of it, which I don't know if I believe or not. I think she's just in denial. Yeah. She's kind of like, if I don't acknowledge it, maybe it won't happen. Yeah, but they, it does. They kind of like to throw in these random like connections to other things in the show, like how they react, and it just sometimes it feels over the top. Hmm. Like there's other episodes that are coming up where people are reacting to things because of past events, and it feels like where was that? in all the other episodes. Like, yeah. Mulder is very obsessed with this case specifically because of his connection to his sister, as you had said. But it's just like, I don't know. Anytime they're dealing with, like, a girl who was taken. Or yeah. Or, like, yeah, like, why isn't Mulder having his struggles then? Um, I don't know. He just is so obsessed with this. Not as obsessed as he is in that Gargoyle episode. No, uh, yeah. Coming up, but... I mean, I think with this one, it's because he can, like, really imagine, like, what if Samantha was... Um, I don't even know what her name is, but the... I don't remember. The, the, um, the older victim. Okay. Or, I don't know how we want to say that, but her. The older uh, of the two, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think he can really imagine, like, oh, yeah, like, because she would be closer to, like, Samantha's age, right? The younger one. No, the older one, like if Samantha now, was, if yeah, she was like, alive. yeah, exactly. Well, sure, it's like so a, that's what I mean. Like it's like a, it's like a weird. Um, this is what could have been of Samantha, mm. like if she had been recovered and if she had been taken by like an abusive person or whatever. So yeah, um, I think that actor too that plays that guy is really creepy looking. Uh, yeah. So I feel like he was cast well because he like he just uh, yeah. He's believable. He's believable. Too believable. <laughs> She's literally bleeding her blood. They get, yeah. a, they get a test of it and they're like, arrest her because they're like, why are you bleeding her blood? Well, they find their, they find the victim's blood on her. And yeah. They're like, it's a match. Right. Sure. Bleeding it, but it's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's coming out of her crazy. body. Um, which would not be explainable unless she's a clone. Yeah. Um, finally. Finally. And it's probably because it's a kid, but Scully... Does chest compressions. I know. Yay. She does it, but she gives up. Get, oh, yes, she does. She, like, does it for, like, a second, yeah. and she's like, no, and then Mulder takes over. I don't know about a second, over. but Mulder's, like, not letting and it go, and she's, she's like, like, stop. Like, stop it. And, yeah. like, she's so she's mad. She's gone. That is always really funny to me. She tries well, for, like, 30 seconds. And stuff, when people are, like, yeah, they, like, try for, like, a short period of time, and then they're, like, it's, it, there's, we can't do it. And it's then there's supposed always one to be person like, who's, like, I'm doing it. I'm going to bring him back. And it's, it's like. It's always, like, it's supposed to be, like, give up the hope. They, they feel bad that they continue to hold on to something that, that's, like, done. Well, yeah. They it's want like, them to. They want them to let go. Yes. And just be, like, they, like, But, but like, what you were going to say is, like, why not? I know. It's not gonna hurt. I mean, if he was doing it for hours or something, sure. but it's like he's there I mean, three days I don't know. later. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's funny, but yeah, Mulder he does stop. Like she, he's like chest compressing, and then and then she, she like kind of pulls life. him away. Yeah, and they're like both standing away, and then yeah, she coughs it up. But that's you know obviously not necessarily because of Mulder. It's because the other girl. Sure. absorbed the water into her lungs so if they didn't do any chest compressions at all would she still have lived was I that think, completely I pointless so. i think so you don't think that they were giving chest compressions on both of them oh maybe doing like that yeah like, i don't know maybe because she's maybe working it did help a little bit it probably did help I mean, would but neither of them have woken up if Mulder had not taken over? Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Scully, sure as hell, had nothing to say. Like, oh my god, Mulder, you were right. I'm so sorry. She would never she do that. I know, but she, like, in her own way, because she's like, I thought you might want to know. Like, they found 
seven liters or whatever it was of water in her lungs, which I don't even know how that much water fits in a human lung, like human lungs. I think you're exaggerating on the number. No, I'm swearing. She said something like seven or eight liters of water. It was like a crazy amount. 74 but gallons she was found says in her it, body. She says it to him to be like, yeah, like I can't explain that basically. I get that, but she's not She's not apologizing no. for fucking being like, why did you, like, don't bother trying to resuscitate her. And oh, then yeah. she comes back to life. Yeah. As the medical doctor, yeah, yeah. you should be like, oops. Scully. Yeah. You're lucky you're hot. <laughs> um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, she dies. The girl lives. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, and this, this, this is the one where, like, I was making fun of the fact that Mulder and Scully stop at the, at the photography store as the cops are, like, rushing around town. And then Mulder's like, well, we're just going to make a quick stop and ask them, like, where he lives. And it's like, did you care? So this is like typical Mulder. This is something that fucking he does in like every other episode is basically like, he never tells anyone his plan. Scully always has to be like, where are you going to go? He's like, all right, you go back to the corners. And she's like, well, where are you going to go? And he's like, I got a plane to Hong Kong. And it's like, wait, what the fuck? What do you mean? What? You going to tell me anything? Like if she didn't say that, he he would just walk out. Yeah, Mulder's like, even after working with Scully for like, you know, two years or whatever it is at this point, he still, I feel like, is so used to, like, doing things on his own. I guess. That he's, like, he, it's just, he, like, legitimately doesn't think to but tell you people. Have, and he like, also, I think, doesn't tell people sometimes because they, put, especially Scully, like, if they don't like what he's gonna do or they think it's silly or something, yeah. they push back on it. So he's, like, he's very much, like, the I will ask forgiveness, not permission. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's always, yeah, that's how I think of him. It's just funny to me because, like, the, like cops are rushing around the town with him. Yeah. And he has, like, a totally other plan. And then as soon as they run in the door, then they're just all running up to the house again in the next scene. And I'm like, so he had to go get the information, then come back to his car, radio them, and be like, I know where they're at. Come on back. And it's like, you couldn't have just told us your plan? Yeah. We could have rushed over there with you. And this would have saved us time to not just be, like, rushing back to you so that we can all go together. So just, I don't know. He, yeah, you're right. It just comes down to, like, he does what he wants when he wants. And because he thinks everyone's going to think what he does is so crazy, he's like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. But, like, if it, it, it irks me for sure that every single time Scully has to be like, where are you going? What's <laughs> happening? He never tells her the plan unless she asks. Yeah. I want to know an episode where she just doesn't say anything and he bails and then it's like he's in freaking Cairo. I'm sure something will happen. It's insane. Where she's like, you didn't tell me you were going to go do this. Yeah. And he's like, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot he didn't forget. He's a liar. All right, that's that. Yeah. All right.